ran into a parked car. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mika. Hey, I'm Jalen, and today we're gonna try out something new. We're gonna try the Relay Bikes and go get lunch. Yeah, let's go. All right, so we are on 5th and Spring Street in Tech Square. Yep. And, um... No, uh, you literally, well, you have to have the app first. Maybe we should read the sign. Create an account. Okay. Okay, so I have the app. Kind of have to press these hard a little bit. All right, now your bike is unlocked, so... Um, so it doesn't look like we can rent two bikes on one account. So now I have to download the app and um, to get my own bike. Right. Last time I rode a bike was probably a few years back. It has a bell. <laughs> it has eight speeds. The screen is really hard to see, so I can't tell if I... Oh, wait. Those are both of them. Okay, I'm going to need to move the seat. It's a little heavy. <laughs> it is heavy. This is good. We're going to Real Taco. Yep. Which is that way. Neither Jalen and I have our own bikes. This I is think true. so we don't have helmets either. Yeah, my bike was stolen. <laughs> yeah. Also, these handlebars are strangely close together, and I almost ran into a parked car. <laughs> but it's fine. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I do not see a bike rack. Oh, here's a bike rack. There so was one. We had a little trouble trying to find a bike rack at first. You can't really see the screen very well. Okay, hold button is right here. Okay. Yeah, it's locked. Well, it was cool. I just wish they had more bike racks amongst mm -hmm. the city so yeah. that I could easily lock up the bike. It's also a big learning curve to figure out how to get it off the rack at first, but um, now that I have the app, it's pretty easy, I guess. All right. Okay. Real Taco was awesome. The tacos are really flavorful, chicken and beef. And their queso is interesting. <laughs> yeah, we could just go to Midtown and check out another place to lock the bikes and see right. what it's like putting them somewhere else. Right, let's just do that. Yeah. Well, trying to remember this pin. You're, oh. Okay. Whoop. Oh. The brakes work okay as long as you're not going too fast. Then yeah. you have to use both brakes. Yeah. Okay, where is it? I legit don't see the bike rack. It must be on the other side. Yeah, I think they are. I'm locking it properly, chill. <laughs> Looks like you press done. And it says, thank you, 56 minutes. I cannot see the money. And we were charged a total of $4. Oh, and my phone. Definitely make sure you check your baskets and don't forget anything important. So no. we had a successful relay bike trip and uh, now we're gonna reward ourselves with some coffee. Well, the bikes are very well built, very sturdy. The app could use a little work, but I can at least see my last trip really easily and the summary is really nice. But I'm trying to figure out the pre-charge before the the actual trip, like the setup fee, and I can't find it at all. So that's a little frustrating. Just looking at the price, to get somewhere, I would probably just take an Uber instead of these bikes because it's more convenient. Like if it's raining, I'm definitely taking an Uber. <laughs> but if it's a nice day like today, it's worth it. What do you guys think about Relay Bike Share? If you ever had any experience with them, leave it in the comments on this video. And also tell us where you'd like to see us go next. Oh, I have to do it too? No, that's okay. <laughs> Should I do it again? <laughs> I was like...